Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today I am Hardianti and I'm from English Literature A 2017. And today I'm gonna explain about my research proposal. But first of all, let me tell you guys about <coughs> my title. The title is Speech Style Used in Shaman Chinese: The School for Good in Asia. Okay. My first advisor is Dr. Lassindra M. Hong, and my second advisor is Professor Dr. Sikar Bilena. <coughs> and then, based on the people that say speech style used in Shaman Chinese, the school for good in Neville, the object of my research proposal is novel. As far as we concerned that novel is a literary work in the form of prose, with a language narrative containing about human life with several supporting systems like characteristics in actors, actress, or and in the elements of that build it. And the second one is speech style. As we can as far as we know that speech style is one of the linguistic brands that is social linguistic. Speech style is one of the language terms used to indicate the speaker's choice of linguistic features such as vocabulary, tone, intonation, and grammar. As far as my previous proposal, I will quote Chris Seba. He is an expert about language. He states that language is a process of connecting a message between at least two speaking subjects object two speaking object I mean the first one is the sender and the last one is the receiver okay let me tell you about my research question my first research question is what type of speech style used in shaman Chinese to school for good in Yazoo? and my second research question is how are the speech styles used in shaman Chinese School for Good in Evil. Based on my research proposal, my objective of the research is first to find out to find out the types of speech style used in Shaman Chinese School for Good in Evil. And the second one is to find out how the way of speech style used in Shaman Chinese the School for Good in Evil. Okay. Based on research of my proposal, of background, and on the objectives this research, I hope that people will be provided will be provided for linguistic students to develop their knowledge in, in speech style in the novel. It's ordinary to give very significant contribution for many people to enrich their style and communication. And now, I will explain about my theoretical framework. According to Jess, 1976, colon, 1 by 6, speech style is the form of the language which speaker uses and depends on the degree of formality. He identified the style into five styles. First one is frozen style, and the second one is formal style and the third one is consultative style and the fourth one is casual style and the last one is intimate style I will explain one by one first is frozen style frozen style is the most formal style of speech it's usually used in the formal situation formal ceremony in official government or international meeting according to H and account Frozen style is the register used in print of declamation. This type of speech styles occurs in formal situation. And next one is formal style. Formal style or deliberative, according to Chess, is that the formal style is used in addressing audiences. Usually, audiences too large to permit effectively interchange between speakers and hearers. Such so the forms are formally not as foolish 
as those in an orthogonal style, such as in a typical university classroom lecture, is often carried out in a deliberative style or a formal style. According to Jess, in broad theory, it said that formal style used in formal situations when someone has already met at the first time or someone who has had position. It means that style is used when students talk with her or his teacher or the employee talk with her or his boss. The leading code level is my, Mike, or Chad, and the Mr. or Sir when addressing someone or calls someone with the last name. And the next type is consultative style. According to Chess, consultative style is a style that shows our norm for cunning deterrence with a stranger who speaks our language but whose personal stock of the information may be different. A few positive markers of consultative style can be listed, such as yes, no, uh huh, hmm, that's right. I think so. This style usually occurs and used in some group discussion, schools or trading buyer with seller. And fourth type is casual style. Casual style is defined as a style that is used of for the conversation in our related for normal situations. People tend to use this style when they have conversation with friends family and people who have who have close relationships. This style is usually applied in daily conversation. And then according to Chess, there are two devices of casual style. There are elliptic style and slang. Elliptic style is shows the differences between casual grammar and consultative grammar which require a shorter form. On the other hand Slang is employed to someone's speech and characteristics, characterized as a casual style. Slang is not standard word, which is known and used by particular group. And the last one is intimate style. Intimate style is a utterance that avoids giving the address information outside the speaker's skin. This style is completely private languages developed within family, very close friends, couple, and furthermore, intimate language is also characterized by ellipses, deletion, rapid, sharp pronunciation, nonverbal communication, and private code characteristics. Okay, I think that's all for my explanation. I am so sorry for my mistake and thank you for paying attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.